Concerning me, peeps, and NBA fans all around the world, what is up? Laker fans, we're talking to you. What's up? It's me, John D. Villa, the four-time national champion, joined by the NBA expert, Paul F. Filio. Now, first of all, our personal opinion, only knowledge, in fact, and I can't spread it on for entertainment personally. Just please check the disclaimers. Paul, the Lakers won. They got it done at home, game seven. What's going on here? I saw a lot of threes being thrown up there by Lakers, and, and they went at home. They did what they needed to do. They're on to the next round. They did what they needed to do. The, the big men, Andrew Bynum and Pau Gasol, really stepped up in this game, particularly Pau Gasol. But Bynum had a nice game on the boards. Uh, Denver got some good play out of Al Harrington off of the bench. They got some good play from Ty Lawson. But on the road, Andre Miller and JaVale McGee just were not able to duplicate some of their efforts from earlier in the series. Danilo Gallinari did not shoot the ball well, and the Lakers pulled it out out of a, a season, a series that they were struggling in. The Denver Nuggets have kind of solved them in some ways, but the Lakers really got it together from those guys, the big men, and they also had a really great game from Steve Blake off of the bench, the point guard. He came through huge. As you mentioned, they were great at shooting the three tonight. They really did that well. They were 11 of 24. The Lakers are not a team that is known as a good three-point shooting team, but they really came through tonight in front of the whole crowd, home crowd. Now they're moving on to face the Oklahoma City Thunder. And okay, I, I like the Thunder in that series, except for one thing. We don't know the status of center Kendrick Perkins, mm. who was hurt with a hip flexor injury in the closeout game, I believe, against the Dallas Mavericks. The Thunder need... Kendrick Perkins because he is the primary guy to stop Pau Gasol and particularly Andrew Bynum. So if the Thunder are missing Kendrick Perkins, that can really change the, the uh, dynamic of the series. We don't know what his status is. It's been kind of hush-hush. Apparently he was seen at the, the Thunder practice facility today walking without a limp and stuff, but nobody really knows if he's going to be ready to go in game one, which is going to take place this Monday in two days. So wow. Congratulations to the Lakers. Congratulations to their fans. You guys came through. The Staples Center, the Laker pride shown through tonight, and you got the huge win. Good job. Laker Nation can feel really good about this situation. It went down in Game 7, and when you need it to happen, it happened. Kobe, Pau Gasol, Bynum, the whole situation. And now, what's up with OKC? Are you ready for that situation? Is Laker Nation ready to rally? And OKC, are you ready to face the Lakers? It's going to come down on Monday. And I want to know what everybody thinks about it right now. How big is this win? How good are you feeling? How you feel about OKC? And what's up with that? Tell me what's going on. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe. Up. I'm John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion. That is Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. We are concerned in the media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.